Welcome back to the Psychotic Break. I'm Maddie. And I'm Kimmy. And today we're going to be talking about the Freudian concept of the Oedipus Complex. Yes, the Oedipus Complex. You may have heard someone say in reference to a man who is being a dick, (laughs) oh, he must have some sort of complex. And what they're referring to is the Oedipus Complex, which is, and I hate the definition, I I personally think Freud is a creep. I'll get into that. (laughs) The concept of the Oedipus Complex is a man has an unconscious sexual attraction to his mother. Therefore, he also has a jealousy or resentment for his father. And the Oedipus complex comes from the Greek tragedy, which is the Odyssey, where this man Oedipus is over seven years and I believe seven books traveling the world, fighting all this mythological stuff. And in the end, he comes back. He says, F my father. I want to say he kills him or the father dies. Either way, they're not having a great relationship. He does have daddy issues. So this is where Oedipus Complex comes in. Oedipus decides to marry his mother. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's gross. It's and, it, and you know what makes it worse is that when reading the article, they're using it for the phallic stage uh, of the psychosocial stages from Freud. And it's for ages three to five to describe not only boys, but for girls, because the girls have the Electra complex directed towards their father. So Maddie, as a woman, did you suffer from the Electra complex? I'm a little torn here. I want to say no with every bone in my body. I think that's (laughs) fucking disgusting. However, we must stress the part of the definition where it's an unconscious attraction. We could never admit it to ourselves. And I do heavily believe in the concept of daddy's girl and mama's boy. Mm -hmm. I honestly think those two things are really wholesome. And you've probably heard it, people. You may have this um, relate to you where you are just closer if you're a girl you're closer with your dad or if you're a boy you're closer with your mom and we throw around mama's boy like it's a bad thing but i think it's really special i've always really liked guys who were close with their mothers and i honestly don't know why that is i honestly don't believe that is the case for everyone i know people who are close girls who are closer with their moms and boys who are closer with their dads But it happens so often where you are closer with the opposite sex parent. Yeah. I do believe that there's some sort of... I don't think Freud is a creep and wrong. (laughs) I think he's a creep and partially right. (laughs) When I was younger, I felt more of an attachment towards my father. And I'm going to emphasize attachment, not the sexual attraction, none of that. But I don't... Do you have an idea of why we are closer with that opposite sex parent? Because when I got older, I was closer with my mother because I could relate to her better. And my dad ended up being kind of a meanie sometimes. But I don't understand why, because mothers are the ones that we love as a baby. They're our nurture. They're our everything. But the moment we are in that phallic stage three to five we immediately are either the mom or the data daddy Ooh. Mm -hmm. see when i explain this next point i'm going to sound like a freudian (laughs) (laughs) what i theorize is we are we form an a stronger attachment to the opposite sex parent because 
there is a biological need to feel a connection to the other sex. And your dad or your mom is the first person you know. So of course you're going to form that attachment and that biological need just has to be met. And you're too young to make the distinction of love, of different types of familial versus relationship love. So I don't know, maybe Freud had it right up until that point. I just really don't like the whole sex thing. I just, I don't know, that's just, because the whole, like, to complete the Oedipus complex, if you're looking at it at, in a, in its entirety, you have you want to have sex with your mom. It's not just that attraction. You have sex with your mom and you kill your dad or castrate him. So that's just really fucked up. I have two points and they're very separate. And one of them I'm really appalled by, but I it came to mind. And the first one is, as you said, we feel that closer we want, maybe as your theory goes about we may want to feel closer with that opposite sex parent or just the opposite sex because when you're younger, you kind of get one of each and you've already felt mama's love because that is your person at first. But for same-sex couples, what about that child? They're directed towards both. And I'm not going to use the whole one is feminine, one is masculine because that's not always the case. But Obviously, there's no research on this because, first of all, Oedipus Complex is stupid. We do not follow it. But I'd love to know if there, if there could be, if there was, what would be going on with that. But then my second one, and I'm very sorry for this in advance, because uh, when you mentioned, like, the sexual part, I was thinking, oh, this is, like, at first when you're young, well, at least to Freud, the Oedipus complex or the Electra complex is when you're a child and it's a little more wholesome ideally because I would like to think that a child does not know sex that well as they're that young but I oh this is where I hate myself the porn people fixate on familial porn like that's a very popular trend Especially, uh, I want I want to say it's like stepmother kind of stuff, and that's that is secondhand removing, but mm-hmm. just brother sister, father daughter, that's really popular and it's very gross, and I can completely acknowledge that. But that's a com- that's one of the most popular things in the porn industry that I hate to say it. Most of my exes really loved, and thinking back on it now, very gross. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you just blew my mind. I didn't even think about that. And there is a culture of dating your family members. We joke that in the South, people are dating their, well, in reality, sometimes this is the case. People are dating their cousins and dating family members, but the whole stepmom and stepson and like father and daughter, I, I don't know. Maybe we're attracted to it because it's so absurd, because we crave the unnatural sometimes, and we want something that'll just shake our reality and, I don't know, remind us who we are as humans. Oh, I would want to agree with that, but if we wanted the absurd, watch a werewolf and a vampire, anything else, something beyond the realm, but this one... Because it's so absurd, but so, I don't want to say common, but sort of common that it's something that's not socially accepted, but it's accepted mentally that it's a thing that exists. Do we, do people inherently feel like it's a taboo thing that you actually want to try? Like, and I don't want to get into this, but I don't understand it. I would like to keep the concept of Oedipus complex in sexual relations with or thoughts about your familial parents or whatever to childhood even though that doesn't exist but to think it carries over past children's stages into adulthood into this thriving porn topic is freaky as hell oh my gosh it is i mean i can understand the Oedipus complex in relation to adolescence, and I'll get at I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, as your adults, 
I do believe that there is a sexual factor to it. I mean, the whole porn industry, they produce what they know people want. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there is so much of that, that just has to mean that's what people want. So I mean, oh, that that's mind blowing. I mean, let's I'm gonna put a pin on a pin in that. <laughs> when I think of the Oedipus complex in a non-sexual way, I tend to imagine men and there have been men in my life certain bosses that I've had who have been like this where they seem to really struggle with um giving and accepting authority and I do believe that they are connected I I mean this kind of connects to the inferiority complex but I I don't know I do think that there's a relation there looking primarily at children and then adolescents and then coming back to adults i understand the part of the oedipus complex where you have jealousy or resentment towards your same sex parent mm -hmm. as a kid and an adolescent i would be compared to my mother a lot obviously mm -hmm. i would have people go up to me and say oh my gosh you look just like your mother and i would really hate that and it's not that my mom isn't a beautiful woman and that's a compliment because it is. She is a beautiful woman and I should be flattered that people say that. But I was so bothered by that and perhaps that was my Electra complex. Perhaps I just didn't want to be like my mother. And there's a whole bunch of other factors. If you're saying I look just like my mother, you're basically taking away my identity. You're just saying that I'm another version of her and not my own person. You're invalidating everything I am and the fact that I want to be different from my parents. So there is that. And once you go into your adolescence, if you don't deal with the fact that you have that resentment towards your parents, you're just going to start generalizing that whole gender as a whole. And that's when you start to have problems with the inferiority complex when describing that the, i don't like that i'm on very dark and twisted topics but that's what you constantly see with um i want to say it was ted bundy where he hate and ed kemper where they hate women so much because their mothers were such domineering people and that's obviously abuse and that's completely separate but hating a sex so much because of something that happened in your own life at, at such a vulnerable age that it is inferiority that you want to take back and that you did it in a more healthy way where you kind of separated that but then you have the extreme versions where and oh i'm not going to go into that but like they destroy other women then go at their own fa like go back to the women that hurt them and it's ah, I don't know where I went but that's what I was thinking about it's a very toxic relationship the whole idea of the Oedipus complex is full of contradictions and juxtapositions it's just full of such opposites you're attracted to your mother but you hate your father and I don't know it's just wild to think about especially because it is back to like homosexuality it's based on the idea that you only love the opposite sex where I'm not I don't want to assume that a boy that is gay is sexually attracted to their father but it you can tell that this idea is completely just false because it's not inclusive and it's old and it's outdated and obviously I would hope that no one's thought it through but it's creepy especially because when reading about it Freud was suggesting it in a more adult sense where I put in this in the notes but they mention it as an underlying gateway for whatever sex that child is to be attracted to the opposite sex or whatever their parent is. So, for example, like a male, if they're a child, they're, if it's a male child, they're going to be, according to the Oedipus complex, attracted to their mother. 
And it may not be sexual, but it is in turn to almost expose them to women and understand that this is what they're sexually attracted to. So almost on some level, it is suggesting, at least in my mind, that you are going through this stage to find out what sex you like. And that's an extreme take on it, but that's what I'm seeing as for following what Freud intended, which is whatever parent that you are growing that attraction or attachment to, that is the one you are slowly easing your own preferences into. Wow. You're just blowing my mind left and (laughs) right. Oh my gosh, Kimmy. That makes so much sense. And there obviously needs to be research to back that up. But I might start, I don't know, the close friends that I have, I might start asking them, which parent are you closest to? And then kind of evaluate what type of gender they're dating or how they identify. That's so interesting. And oh my gosh, wow. What I do think is interesting is the people that we tend to date, in my mind, resemble our opposite sex parent. Mm -hmm. I've definitely, (laughs) it's kind of silly. My dad has the same, he's had the same haircut his entire life. It's like (laughs) kind of like down the side and then it kind of like goes around like this. It's it's just like, I don't know, it's it's the dad haircut. And I'm really attracted to guys when they have that haircut. Okay. And I don't want to look too deeply into that and say that's a gross thing. It's not like I'm attracted to my dad in that way. It's just familiar and it's what I grew up knowing and therefore it's what I like to see. So maybe Freud kind of jumped the gun because he understood that connection. Understood it, but took it to an unnecessary level where if he didn't make it weirdly sexual, this idea could have been carried over into understanding what sexual preferences people enjoy or why we do prefer people that look similar to our parents. I don't know if I've ever related to the physical appearance of either of my parents in a partner, but I've noticed similar traits and personality to them. Um, Usually the bad ones. Um, Not happy about that, but I think that says what I've been taught is that I what I've been taught is that this person acts this way. And so I'm very used to it. And that's my vision version of familiarity as compared to more of an appearance thing, because my dad is a larger Asian balding man. I don't think I've ever seen that in a young lad. (laughs) I don't think I want to, at least for my own self. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to take this with me because it makes so much sense that we are attracted to this, the, how do I want to word this? It makes sense that, say, I am attracted to guys with this certain haircut that's similar to my dad's because of that familiarity. And familiarity just seems to be the key here with the Oedipus complex you are forming this connect for the oedipus complex you're a boy having this connection with your mother and it's the first thing you know so of course you're going to be very attached to it and you will seek certain qualities in your mother in other people yeah oh wow I think we have unlocked a part of Oedipus Complex that is more wholesome and more thoughtful than the original creepy Freud way, which I do enjoy because if we left it at what it was, it's taken to a completely unnecessary level that it's more of a joke in psychology. It is, and... It's sad because Freud was obviously brilliant. I mean, his the way he interpreted dreams, yes, they were mostly sexual. And the <laughs> guy, I, I honestly don't know what had to go wrong or right in this guy's <laughs> life for him to be so fixated on sex, and especially in children. That's just weird. Oh. 
Very weird. But there are certain parts to his theories that make a lot of sense. The Oedipus complex, if we do look at it from just familiarity and biology, it, it does make sense. But you're right, he just takes it a little too far. Yeah. He must have been a very deprived man for him to come up with all of these things. What freaks me out is I'm as if I were his mother and I was still alive when he released his version of the Oedipus Complex, I would be grossed out. I would be obviously almost wanting to confront him and be like, sir, were you sexually attracted to me? Because you don't come up with this idea unless you've had experience in it, usually. I'm hoping that that wasn't the case, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, to kind of bring it back to biology, I was just thinking, I was trying to think like Freud, trying to understand why the heck he would think these things. And it occurred to me that all animals pretty much don't intermingle within their own familial groups like you don't see children getting with their parents Mm -hmm. and if we're looking at it just just from a biology standpoint why not once that child reaches sexual maturity you have every capability to do that so why don't you and then i start to think it's the same reason why it's frowned upon for humans to get with their family members. Yeah. Bi- biologically, it's just, there's too many mutations that can go on. It's not sexually reproducible in a successful way. With that in mind, why is the Oedipus complex so common in the minds of humans if it biologically just doesn't make sense? Uh, I'm gonna go back to just the idea of taboo where you want the unthinkable because when people want these things I don't I want to I want to believe that they don't want anything to be like an offspring it's all almost just a thought a concept that they want to fulfill for like some freaking trophy thing as compared to I want to actually make a baby with my mother because that's not as common hearing people kissing their cousin or whatever or whatever they do is obviously very weird but it's not as gross because if someone went up to me and was like I want to date my cousin I'd be like ew no but if they were like I got my cousin pregnant I'd be like that's not a safe thing for that child or that woman because obviously the mutation thing but uh, I don't I wish there was a proper answer and I hate to say it I would have to ask someone that is more closer to this because we've never related to any of these things follow-up question Obviously, we are thinking about these things, but other animals aren't. What do you think it is about our brains that makes us do that? Well, it's the same thing with... Oh, God. Is it... Ooh. Oh, no, they do that. Okay. Um, It's the concept of just... We have the more expanded, more intelligent brains that almost allow us to get into worse situations where yeah animals kill each other for other things but it's over little things like infant side where it's the male um i want to say oh i think it's the orangutan or something where they're killing because the infant is taking away their ability to have sex with the mother orangutan because the woman has to take care of that baby so that takes away the most primal needs as compared to humans that are killing because of very extreme topics, very logical ideas and creating nuclear warfare and stuff where it's, yeah, we're just too advanced that it has allowed us to think bigger, go to different thoughts, go to, in my opinion, grosser ideas as compared to animals where I don't know if they do more ancestral things, but 
I don't believe so. I do. I think they meet within the tribe, but not within family. And I agree with that. That just goes back to the whole biology. We're not meant to be attracted to our family (laughs) members in that way but us humans our big brains we find a way to do it in the worst ways possible oh man it's wild it kind of makes me think of the whole idea that yes we're so intelligent but at what cost and it brings up the concepts that I get from Pride and Prejudice. Would you rather be intelligent and see the flaws of the world and arguably sadder than the person who is naive but happy? And who knows, maybe that applies to the Oedipus complex. Maybe we're just so intelligent and we see all of these possibilities that how can we not think about indulging in them? Mm, But then it could be argued we could easily eat our finger right now. We could easily just bunch, like munch down super fast, super hard, but we choose not to because something in our brain stops us. In my brain, I would be stopped if I was told to go kiss my sister, unless there was like something involved, like she's going to get shot if I don't kiss her kind of deal. But in the end, I would like to think that there's the same thing that blocks us from ripping out our eyes that, stops us from fucking our family members well you would think at least but we're proving not apparently yeah i mean the whole idea of a complex is there is something wrong with someone (laughs) for them to be engaging in this it's not like this is a natural thing we've argued that it's more common than you might think And that might just be because a lot of people, arguably everyone, is messed up in some sort of way. (laughs) Yeah. I'm not going to get into that topic because I was thinking, well, I guess incest is a taboo, but then everyone has that weird taboo type of kink thing. But theirs are, would, would it be argued that theirs are more healthy than the incest one? But that's like a whole separate digression, but it's the whole idea of that what is actually considered normal to some degree or healthy or something in our brain is going on, essentially. Right. Well, I guess we'll leave that question in the air for our listeners. A topic that I hope we never come back to. (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this up with our one-minute summary. Okay. We will be flipping a coin to determine which one of your co-hosts will be summarizing all of this wonderful episode. (laughs) It's like punishment. (laughs) (laughs) All right, heads or tails? I'll go with heads. All right. Heads. Oh, yes. Yes. I was mentally preparing of what I could speak about, and it's not going to go well, but we're going to try it. I believe in me. Today, we talked about the Oedipus complex, which most... Okay, the idea is for, at least with Oedipus, is that a boy is unconsciously sexually attracted or just has an attachment to the opposite sex, which in this case would be the mother, and in turn would be mad at the same sex, which is the father, because they are closer with the mother and can do things. But then there's also the electric complex for the female. Um, This is... uh, We talked about why this could exist in the biological function as... Why are we possibly sexually attracted? Because on a biological level, attachment makes sense because they are the nurturer, they are the carer. But sexually, you would think there would be something that blocks us. Did we find an answer? Not really. In the end, though, Freud is pretty brilliant, just wasn't on the right path and was very sexually motivated. Um, There's not really much left, yeah. Because it was digressions a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you got the the main things about biology and the sex-crazed Freud. Oh, that We'll probably have an episode just about Freud because 
oh, the man is quite interesting. We could do a, almost a like five part series or more on every one of his ideas because even with Oedipus Complex, there's a whole subsection that uses like the id, the ego, the super ego, but I could not mentally get into all of that. Right. Now we'll add it to the backlog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for listening. We appreciate it. Um, you can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and watch our beautiful faces. And this one especially will be worth watching because there's a lot of lots of face making um, on YouTube. We are also on Instagram at the psychotic break dot pod. Um, and comment on our things. Tell us ideas. We want to hear from it. Or comment on the YouTube because it's really fun for us. Comment something that makes sense, please. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that was a personal attack on one person that we have no clue. But we still liked the fact that they commented. But I, <laughs> either way, I'm Kimmy. And I'm Maddie. Bye. Bye. <laughs>